Hey, what is up, guys? I just got back from seeing Doctor Strange. This is the newest Marvel movie in the MCU. And I gotta say, this surprised me a lot. This movie was awesome. The first thing I want to say about the Doctor Strange movie is the story was actually really, really good. This is all about Doctor Stephen Strange. He's a very, very good surgeon. He's got tons of money. He's really smart. He's pretty arrogant. He's a little bit of a douche. He gets in this accident in his car and he crashes it and he can't perform surgery anymore and his whole life is basically ruined. He can't do what he wants to do and he struggles finding a job. He loses all of his money and he just wants a purpose in life and he turns to the mystic arts for that and now he's the Sorcerer Supreme. So Benedict Cumberbatch in this movie was absolutely phenomenal. Like we all know he's a great actor and he absolutely killed this role and I mean killed it. He was absolutely amazing and another thing like honestly before in like the concept pictures and like small images that were leaked here and there of him in uh, costume. I, honest, I honestly didn't think he really looked like Doctor Strange, but I'm gonna post a picture up right here. And uh, during the movie, I really saw the resemblance of him with the comic book character, and I really, really liked that. Uh, everything just kind of clicked, and it looks so much better on screen. And yeah, I definitely recommend to see him on screen, because it really does look just as Doctor Strange does in the comics, and that blew me away. By now, you probably know Doctor Strange has tons of effects because of all the magic, and I gotta say, all of these were executed so nicely. Uh, it was absolutely amazing to watch these fight scenes, like the fight scenes where he's going all like, got magic flying around, and he's got little magic whips, and... Uh, magic swords and shit like it was absolutely crazy to watch you got people running on the ceilings the whole freaking reality is just switching around everything's going crazy it was it was so cool to watch in the first like five minutes there was already a crazy effect scene where people are like running up and down buildings and it was pretty crazy like i didn't think they were gonna go uh that big especially in the first few minutes but it was really, really cool to watch, and there are tons of scenes, like, I'm not really spoiling because it, you already know what happens in the trailer, and, uh, th basically there's probably, like, five scenes where they're running up buildings or walls and stuff. It's really cool to watch, actually. The fight scenes were really cool between Doctor Strange and other heroes, uh, towards the villains of the movie. It was really, really cool to watch magic, like, hit magic and make all these sounds and... All these crazy things are happening. It's just so cool seeing all the colors fly around. Everything was just really, really cool. Another thing in this movie is comedy. And I honestly didn't think they were going to put that much comedy into it. But there was actually a fair bit and it really worked. Like I actually laughed probably like four or five times in this movie. Which uh, is quite a bit for a Doctor Strange movie. Like I never thought of Doctor Strange as like a humorous uh, character. Benedict Cumberbatch and the writers and everyone uh, really made this character a lot more likable by adding some comedy. The villain of Kaecilius in this movie, honestly he did have good motivation. Uh, this isn't much of a spoiler either but he wants eternal life, like he wants to be immortal and this is only done by uh, helping out Dormammu which if you guys don't know is a huge huge Doctor Strange villain so that's kind of his motivation but Kaecilius as a character uh, he was a former student of the Ancient One turned bad so it's almost like Kylo Ren and Luke in Star Wars uh, so that kind of relationship there he leads a group of uh, followers and they want to help out Dormammu and that's kind of like their thing and they want to take down all the sorcerers that are stopping them basically and Doctor Strange and a couple other heroes try to stop them and basically that's the conflict you have in the movie. Kaecilius honestly wasn't an amazing villain. Like we all know Marvel uh, puts a lot more effort into the heroes and a little bit less into the villains and honestly it's about the same thing in this movie. Uh, Kaecilius was alright, like he had some pretty cool scenes, he did some pretty crazy and nasty stuff. So you do feel the sense that he is very evil, like a lot of other characters in Marvel movies I didn't really feel were that evil. Overall, bringing magic to the MCU is absolutely amazing. Like, honestly, if you go into this thinking it's going to be like a normal Marvel movie, like, whatever, it's actually not. This is really 
it's like Marvel meets Harry Potter and you throw them together. And that's why so many people before and after the movie, like I could hear them talking in the audience. And they were saying like they really want to watch Fantastic Beasts, which comes out next week. And they were saying this is really similar and they really liked it. There was a ton of Harry Potter fans in the audience saying that they really loved it. And how they, they correlated it between Harry Potter and... And I really like that because bringing magic in brings a whole new dynamic to the MCU and it's going to be really, really cool to explore. Another thing they introduced in this movie is the Time Infinity Gem. A lot of you probably already know that because we are missing the green gem in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And in the pictures you can see the Eye of Agamotto all green and stuff. So it kind of was kind of obvious, but... If you guys didn't know that, I guess that's a little bit of a spoiler, kind of not. This movie also did a great job of setting up future movies. So there is one character in this movie that in the comics is actually a villain, but in this movie he's actually a good guy. And they set up him as like a very uh, friendly character towards Doctor Strange, and if they choose to make him a villain then that dynamic will be very, very cool to have someone kind of turn on Doctor Strange already. They did a really good job setting up everything, really, of the Doctor Strange universe, and I cannot wait for Doctor Strange 2 and his next appearance, which is most likely either going to be uh, maybe Thor Ragnarok or the Infinity War Part 1. The last thing I want to say, guys, is you got to stay after the credits. You guys already know Marvel movies, they have post credit scenes, and this movie actually has two, so make sure you stay. There's one that's like maybe two minutes after the credits, and then there's also one right after everything. So, yeah, just ignore the phone and go watch those post credit scenes. The actual last thing I want to say is if you guys go to a Cineplex, you can actually get these really cool cups, which as you guys probably notice, I have them in my background over here, and I'm going to show you the Doctor Strange one that I got. So here's my Doctor Strange cup. It looks really, really awesome, as you can see. Benedict over there, you know. There's actually a funny story about this. So I go to Cineplex, and I always get these four movies that have them, really, like these special cups. So this is Doctor Strange here. This is actually the see-through form. And uh, I wanted the color version, obviously, because it looks way better than this. But uh, the girl there actually told me they only had these, which was definitely a lie, because they definitely had more. Because when I went into the theater, there was some guy with the color version of this, and I was pretty upset, because if I'm going to pay like $12 for a cup, I at least want them in color. But other than that... This cup looks really, really cool. As you can see, it's the same image on both sides. So yeah, that's a new addition to my shelf. And I'm assuming the next cup I get will maybe be uh, maybe Star Wars Rogue One or Wonder Woman. Not too sure just yet. Depends uh, which movie they choose to make the cups for. Another thing that Cineplex did that I really, really liked was when I got out of the theater, they actually had a table set up with a bunch of these posters. So they got Doctor Strange posters. That looks really, really cool. Uh, I don't know exactly where I'm going to put this. I might put it on my desk in my background or something. But that's very, very, very cool. I really like this poster. And obviously it was free, so I like it even more. But uh, yeah, definitely check out Doctor Strange. This is a, an amazing, amazing origin movie. I'm going to rate it right now. So do 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 B plus. That is Doctor Strange. Almost an A minus. It was very, very good. The fighting scenes were great. The acting was great. There was comedy. The origin was very, very strong. And I really liked that story that they told. And it set up future movies. It had two great post credit scenes. It was just a great ride. Very, very fun. And it added a whole new dimension to it. Well, multiple because it's Doctor Strange. But the magic now into the Marvel Universe was really, really cool to see. So go check it out. It's an amazing movie. And uh, leave a comment below of what you guys thought about it. Or any other questions, really. And future mo uh, videos you want me to make. And thanks for watching this review, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.